Hey guys and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm really quickly checking in because we're about to check out of our hotel we stayed in last night at the Hilton Hampton. Uh, we always stay here when we go away in Stansted because it's literally two second walk to the airport and we have a flight at eight o'clock in the morning and we had lounge passes and I'm not very well so we want to use it. So we're just going to Madrid today which is super exciting. I'll tell you more about it later. Um, this is our little airport outfits. Double denim, leggings, trainers. Ryan's well, got new shoes on. I've got terrible socks on, but I just want to be oh, comfy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to crack my First time I've worn makeup in ages. Well, <laughs> feels like ages. It's literally been like five days, but still. Hey guys, so we. Oh my god, I'm really ready. We're just on our way to the hotel in Madrid, so I didn't want to film on the plane because I'm not feeling too fresh. Um, but we're on our way now, so I thought I'd tell you what we're doing. So we're going to Madrid. Um, it is actually part of a collaboration, but it's like the strangest, best collaboration ever. So um, there's this thing that I'd never heard of before until we came across it on this uh, collaboration called a travel counsellor. Um, and a travel counsellor is a bit like a travel agent, but way more specialised in the fact that they have like really good relationships themselves with um, hotels and all like they just they are experts in the field of travel basically um, and they help they are like independent people and they put together trips for you so Jen approached me and Lauren about doing a trip together so she was going to organize it all um, and work with the hotel so we get the hotel for free and the flights and one experience and then the rest of it it's just like so it's just us two here so it's not like with brand um, and we chose to go to Madrid um, so we're in Madrid for I think three days no I think we go in the morning on three but days, th no, three no, no, no. oh do we yeah so three days including today and the day other day we travel so two nights um, so essentially what Jen has done I mean what Jen has done is she has they've got these apps which I will show you later um, which uh, on it has our boarding passes our hotel details our lounge passes and a token for the event that we're going to um, which is flamenco dancing and tapas I'm really looking forward to that um, and so it's all in one place which is amazing for like control freak like me because I know that as long as I've got my phone it's all there um, and also so she booked us into a lounge um, as like an added extra which is amazing I think she does that with most people um, so we had like away from the crowds nice like calm breakfast this morning which is really nice uh, she booked uh, transfers on the other side so literally got off our flight there was a man with our uh, name just got straight into a really nice car and now we're in it on our way so very seamless at the other end she um, got us priority boarding so we got on the plane first and um, we had our luggage on the plane because we only had handheld luggage so we didn't have to like um, put it in the hold like they make you um, she made sure we were sitting next to each other on the plane, which like you rarely get nowadays these days. She just went above and beyond and just made the whole thing really like easy. She even sent us a little pack with everything beforehand, like a little travel guide of Madrid, like a book, these passport covers, um, and also as well as having the app, she printed off all of our boarding passes. Oh, she checked us in online too, so we literally didn't have to do anything. She just made it so easy, and honestly, like I will definitely, I'm gonna ask her to help with my honeymoon because I'm such a stressor when it comes to traveling and just anything in general. I get really bad anxiety and I stress about things like that. So having it all and having her organize it all is, been a life changer. Also, can I just say something that's really handy to know? Because you might think like I could just do it myself and save money. She takes a commission from the company. It's not you. Like oh, that she, she puts you in, in touch with you. Yeah. So she's she is getting you a good deal too. She doesn't like. Um, I didn't know that either. Um, yeah. So she's you'll get a good deal. It's not like she's gonna. It costs any extra. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, definitely I'll put her details in the description below, um, she's amazing 
and so yeah today it's like lunch time we're staying at the me hotel um i've never stayed at a me hotel before but i have been to the one in london to radio rooftop for lunch and stuff and coffee lauren stayed there before did you say it was did you like it yeah it was good but i was in the penthouse suite <laughs> she was in the penthouse suite um so we're going to the me hotel in milan Madrid. I keep saying that I'm in Milan. My whole family thinks we're going to Milan because <laughs> we're like moving to Milan, different country. Um, but I've never been to Madrid before, so I'm super excited. Um, and I can't wait for the flamenco dancing, and we're going to bring you guys along with us. So enjoy. <laughs> We just walked like half an hour somewhere because uh, we saw it on Instagram and it looked really nice. Basically, this is how we find places to eat if it looks nice to eat and like just want to sit in it. Even if you're not taking pictures, you just want to sit in a nice room. Anyway, check like 26 minute walk. We did go via some shops and got there and it looks nothing like the pictures. We're like, this is what Instagram and some good editing does for you. Honestly, it was like a dark, dingy wooden room. So different to what we said to you. I'll have to get a bench and look through my recommendations. I'm getting hangry. We're thinking about this place because it looks cute. So we'll see. Hey guys, we went and had tapas and pinchos and loads of food that we ordered loads because we were hungry and then it all came and we were like, whoa, too much food and it was all really weird too. We were just like, this is a mistake basically. Uh, so we had that and then we did some pictures, chilled for a bit and now we're back in the room relaxing. Relaxation station with my cold. Relaxy taxi! <laughs> Relaxy taxi! Um, so yeah, I think we're going to go to a Cuban restaurant tonight. We're just having a really chill time. We both said before we came here that we're not really bothered about like doing loads. Like just actually want to relax and enjoy it. So yeah, we're just having a bit of time to like, edit pictures, watch music videos, <laughs> be silly. We do a lot, to be honest. Don't be shy. <laughs> nice. Um... Oh my God, there's a bogey on my phone. Have you picked up? <laughs> I think we're 29 and 28. We're not. <laughs> 28 and 30. Can you guess which one's 30? Oh my god, I was filming. What? There's a video on here. Of what? I don't know, I'm going to look to see. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh no, just too close up of my disgusting face. Apparently I might be going to Istanbul next week now. I feel like I definitely am, but I'm also not, I'm like kind of in denial because I don't know how I feel about going. I'm gonna miss Penny so much. I just spoke to mum and I was like, how's Penny getting on? And she was like, yeah, she's good, but she wouldn't sleep with us last night. She went and slept in the bed that you sleep in. That's so sad. Baby girl. 
uh, OTN. Lauren's just practicing now with the new Zara heels. Oh, it's like a spotlight on them. Where's your jumper from? Revolve. Uh, it's actually from um, Pretty Little Thing. No way. I bought it. No way. <laughs> what do you mean? Shook. Hashtag shook. New shoes from Zara. I got my new. Oh, I'm in my own shadow. My new Topshop shoes on. Love them. They went out of stock the first time I bought them and I got a refund and I was not happy. Then they came back in stock. This bag's also Topshop. Very cute. And I got my blazer on. I'll show you in a minute. We're just going up to Radio Rooftop. Then we're going to go to this Cuban bar. Just got to the rooftop. Look at that view. Oh, so pretty. Oh, wow. Look at that all. I think there's an event going on there. Look. Oh, how did we get up there? Even higher. Where are we going? Oh, I just wanted you to film my outfit. Will you film my outfit? This is it, I think. Well, apparently it's gone past us, but it hasn't even come here yet. I'm so shiny. Just got back from the meal. We had the nicest meal and the restaurant was so nice. <coughs> it was Cuban themed. I can't remember, what was it called, Lauren? Um, Javier, no. Is it bigger than M? Oh my god, <laughs> I can't remember, we've just been there. It was called... Mowen. Malhoven or how I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Hellman's. Um anyway, it was really yummy. Uh we both had the like Cuban spice chicken and a couple of glasses of wine and then we came back because I'm not feeling too well and we just both pretty tired, so we're gonna have a nice long nap. We both kind of said like Lauren's been really stressed and had loads of work on and I've not been well, so we both kind of said like even though we might have planned for it to be like a girls weekend of like drinking and like having fun like we're actually quite happy to just relax because we both just really need some time to relax um though i've just potentially got another trip next week to istanbul which sounds amazing and i'm so like don't want to sound ungrateful but i already miss penny <laughs> so i'm like don't want to go on another trip again but it's work, so, and it will be really fun. I've never been to um, Istanbul before. But I always thought it was quite a dangerous place to go, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's quite up and coming. Don't know why. I always thought it was quite dangerous. Um, apparently there's lots of earthquakes there, Jack's saying. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be any. He does disasters, so always letting me know when somewhere I go is dangerous. Um, but tomorrow, Lauren's researched and found a um, glass I mean, it's not house. Research, it's like the most, <laughs> like the most place. Prominent <laughs> anyway, it's like a glass house that you. It's a, it's a palace. It's a glass palace um, with a rowing lake, and you can row around in it. So I think we're going to do that. I don't actually look too bad today considering I don't feel well and I've got no makeup on but it's because I fake tanned so I don't look too pasty but look how red my cheeks are and my lips my lips look like I've got lipstick on they're so sore and dry they look like I've got lipstick on don't they? Uh, you have, you've got lip salve on I've got lip balm on mm. that's clear Um, but yeah anyway that's all for me, folks. I'm going to bed. And then night. Hey guys, good morning. We are now, actually this afternoon, <laughs> we, ooh, um, we had a lion this morning, so we're both really tired and went for breakfast and literally had the laziest, longest breakfast and did some pictures in the room. So it's now, what time is it? It's probably a lunch time now. Half twelve. Half twelve. Um, we're going somewhere, I don't know what, where, what's it called, Lauren? Crystal Palace. It's a football team. Where are we going? Crystal Palace. This is what I live with. 
<laughs> we are going to a crystal palace. Um, it's like a crystal palace with like a rowing lake apparently. So I think we're gonna like go and have a look around and then go and maybe get some a cute little picnic to have on the boat and then go for a row, which should be very interesting. The rowing lake's actually coming up first now because we've got all oh. dropped off at the wrong place. So maybe we'll go for a row first. But yeah. So we can have a lovely day in the sunshine. It's not um it's really sunny and bright but it's not that warm. Like I'm in a jumper and jeans and I feel just like the right temperature. So I wouldn't want to be in a vest top. It's so pretty around here, look, they've got like a little lake. And a waterfall. And it goes soon, it's so nice. And there's this big lake here. And I think this is what we're gonna get a rowing boat. Lauren just wants me to take some pictures of her in this building. She's over there lining it all up, finding where she wants the spot. Have you found where you want your picture taken yet, Lauren? There's some bathing. Look, they could definitely get over that thing. The other ones probably want to get out. And those two are blocking it. Look at them. Oh, look, there's loads everywhere. How cute. Just come to this glass palace, Crystal Palace, as Lauren called it. Turtles everywhere. Just like floating on now. <laughs> Just come on the lake. Lauren's driving me around. Said when we got here, by the way, I can't move. Like what? You were the one who wanted to go on. I could row. I, I, just, want a I don't like to. I don't actually want to row. Oh. Joking. Well, it's quite peaceful being rowed around. You should try it sometime. Are you splashing me? I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it. Don't splash me, Lauren. You're splashing me. You're getting my Chanel wet and your bag. Leave my bag then. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh, my feet are getting wet. <laughs> Did you shit your trainers? Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I feel like we should just run into the middle and then lay down for 45 minutes. Uh -oh. Hey guys, me in the mirror again. Um, so we're just about to go to the flamenco dancing. I'm really casual, but it's because I feel like in Europe, honestly, no one dresses up. Like, honestly, whenever I've been out anywhere in Europe, I've just been like, oh my God, I feel so casual. So I've got jeans and a hoodie and then a blazer and my little sandals, which I really love. All the shoes I've worn, apart from these, have rubbed though. So, but if they're not normally shoes that rub, the shoes that I've worn, but I think it's just the amount we've been walking, and you know when your feet are hot and sweaty, so they like rub on shoes that normally wouldn't rub. And then my little Chanel though. I'm really boiling though, so I don't know if I'm too warm, but I guess I can just carry the layers and take them off. I've got a little vest top on underneath. Um, but yeah, this was one of my outfits that I had actually planned. I would seen one I really liked on We Wore What that was quite similar outfit, so I'd like planned to have a little copycat of it. This would look quite cool done up actually with the hoodie coming out. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And I'm not really sure what to expect because it's flamenco dancing and tapas, like four course dinner. And it goes on for four hours, which is a long time. So it's from eight until one o'clock in the morning. So that's five hours. It ends at one o'clock in the morning anyway, and it's at like eight, half eight. So anyway, very long night. So I don't know if we'll make it the whole night, but we'll see. Lots of fun to be had and who knows what the evening will hold. You look very cute and casual and comfy. Let's see what you're wearing into that, the jumper. 
very nice. I feel like I'm getting ill again. Like honestly, did I feel worse than I felt yesterday? All you say is, I think I'm getting ill again. No, like my muscles ache. So we got here really early. Didn't we, Lauren? We actually got here 15 minutes late. So, but he was angry. And he was very angry with this. Oh my god, he's so angry with this. He's like so sassy. Um, I don't think they could get more tables in this place if they tried. Like honestly. I'm excited to see the flamenco dancing there. What on the stage? Male. Elton Good morning. I do not look too fresh. We've just woken up really early, even though we plan to not get up till like 11. So we're going down for breakfast. But look how nice it is. It's a bit so nice. <laughs> so bright. It's so nice though. Oh my goodness. Look at that blue sky. Lauren just looked at the weather in Stamford to be like, oh, um, because apparently it's nice in England at the moment, but it's like two degrees when we get back, which is just dandy. So we've literally got no plans today. We're both really tired and we just wanted to relax really. So I think 
we're gonna do one of two things we're either gonna find where all the luxury shops are and just like a window shop mooch go for coffee just have a lovely day or we're gonna just find somewhere nice to sit and put ourselves up with our books and just drink sangria or coffee all day and tapas so those are the two plans we're not really sure what we're doing we're going down breakfast now i think i showed you breakfast yesterday but i will show you it again because it's really good actually um it's like a buffet though they don't do like hot breakfast but you can order, we ordered pancakes and they were delicious. So if you stay at the Me Madrid, I would recommend asking for the pancakes. I totally forgot to show you breakfast. It's all gone. Lauren's got a little bit left. What is it called a posse? Posse. <laughs> what is it called? Comp. Oh, comp. No. What's that called? Posse. What's the strawberry? No, the sauce. Posse. Compa. <laughs> oh, compa. I thought it was a posse. Posse. Anyway, that is a delicious. Lauren set up loads of stuff for a picture. She was so funny. She was like, oh my god, look how beautiful that sauce is. That bowl is out. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Oh my god, what's my hair doing? Come on, baby. Oh my god. Look, I just had my brows done yesterday. Okay, sorry, I meant to be talking to you. Hey, so um it's now we got back on got more days. Wednesday. Yeah, we got back on Wednesday and it's now Friday. But I've just been feeling really crab and tired and I've just been mooching around to be honest, I haven't really done anything. Yesterday I had booked myself in for like a full on pamper day. So I had a voucher um, for um, my favourite place to get massages and facials. My boyfriend's mum got me that for Christmas. So I booked in and had a lovely massage. I must text her actually and say that I had a massage with her voucher. Um, and so I had a massage because I really needed it. My back still hurts now, but like from my chest. Also like our job on my phone and like my laptop all the time, like really gets so like around here, it's such bad knots. Um, and also I grind my teeth really badly. And, and my, so I asked her if she could massage my face and head. And she did um, and like, just like she said, it was so tense, like my whole face. So she massaged all the knots out of my face, which was very good. And um, didn't grind my teeth last night. I think uh, I can tell by like it like clicks and hurts um, and so yeah and then I had my nails done finally I haven't had them in ages um, and my brows done I haven't had them in even longer so yeah it feels really nice to have like my gels on and my brows done and I've had a relaxing massage so I just feel very relaxed and then I met my friend for lunch yesterday afternoon too with Lauren God, my hair's gone to a weird side part in. And then um, just relaxed, really. Uh, and then today, basically um, going to meet my friend Caroline. It's like a family friend, so the whole fam, girl wise, is going. We're going to go meet her, have like coffee and cake. Then I need to pack. And then me and mum are taking Penny to the Greeners, and then I'm going to straight home from there. So I reckon I'm just going to sign off now. but. Um, my vlogs are not coming weekly like I had hoped hopefully they'll go back to it soon but I've got a lot planned for this month travel wise so um, I'm just going to vlog as and when I can and just keep uploading them and I feel like my YouTube is probably just going to be like that from now on so you can probably just subscribe and hit notification bell because um, I'm just stressing myself out far too much about it like yeah it would be great to have it scheduled all the time but it's just not happening that way because I've been so busy uh, and to be honest, I literally almost felt like giving up the other day because I get so many people messaging me things like, literally, it's just so annoying. Like, I get it, like the whole restrictions and stuff and like saying gift and stuff. But personally, I think when I talk about product, if I say it's a gift before I talk about it and I put it in the description, that's enough. Like, if otherwise, if every one of my descriptions would have to have gift in it um, because I get gifted so much stuff. Like, I'm wearing this hoodie now, which was a gift. So should I now put gift in the, like, it's just, it's just gone mad in my opinion, like, 
I, I think obviously be clear but I think there's like being clear and then there's just being like it's like health and safety got mad but the blogging version um so yeah that I literally was like I'm not doing hauls anymore I can't be bothered because literally I just can't even share the content without having to put like a million disclaimers and I'm only doing it because people want to see it um, and Jack was like don't let the people who are idiots get you down so I'm still going to do them but yeah it might not be as fast but I've got a really fun month planned like next week I'm going to Istanbul with Viramoda which will be really exciting and Debenhams um, and I'm going with Naomi and Amy um, Naomi Ross and Amy Nev and they're two really lovely girls so I think we'll have a really fun time and then the most exciting thing ever um, I've had a last minute or like not last minute I guess but a plan a trip planned in with H&M like I just can't believe that H&M have picked me like why me why me like I'm literally going to ask them why did you pick me like why me um uh to go to LA with them um I'm gonna look crazy um so I'm going to LA with H&M that's insane um for a few days at the end of March like I'm so nervous about it I've got the shakes and I've got to talk about it but I know it's going to be amazing but I'm just like an anxious person so I'm just going with the PR and then um I think they said there's six influencers from the world like all meeting in LA like I can't believe I'm there's two from the UK so me and Lucy Williams like love her like I can't believe that I'm like it's crazy um and yeah but she's not actually coming with us, I don't think. I think she's coming, like... She's doing different dates, but they overlap or something. They were telling me. But anyway, so essentially going on my own with the PR, which is quite scary. But I just said to the PR that you have to babysit me. Because <laughs> I need someone. They were like, you can explore LA, like, and do what you want. And I'm like, I don't want to. I want someone to babysit me. <laughs> like, I don't want to go to dinner on my own and stuff. Um, so yeah, so lots of exciting things to come. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see all those things. And I'll make sure I vlog it all. And yeah, so make sure you subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye. And if there's anything you do want to see, like leave me a comment in the description below.